One of the other important things to keep in mind in AML is that we're moving away from just conventional immunophenotype and cytogenetic, morphologic uh, baseline diagnosis, and actually new technology is taking us to different places. So next generation sequencing is now standard of care for patients with AML. I definitely can't tell you that I know what to do with all of the mutations, but I can say that it is standard of care to test and to make sure that there may be, may or may not be clinical trial um, opportunities for your patients, as well as now standard of care opportunities for FLT3 mutated patients. Now the other important thing is that there's been a guideline change for outcomes in AML. Complete remission is no longer just morphology based. Complete remission is also going to include a subclassification of MRD negative or positive, measurable residual disease. This is controversial. Nobody is exactly sure what we're doing yet, but both by flow cytometry and by molecular assessment for molecularly defined AMLs, it is important to assess MRD because, for example, if you have a newly diagnosed patient who is in morphologic complete remission but still has measurable disease by flow, even allotransplant outcomes are not what uh, are expected for patients with MRD positive disease. So transplants still are only way to cure for a lot of patients, and yet the outcomes are much worse if there is residual uh, disease. So I guess new things in therapy, combination treatments, um, new types of evaluation, both with uh, sequencing strategies and with um, sort of more detailed flow cytometry-based assessments in mission are very important. And then I would just end by saying that novel clinical trials using immunotherapeutics, whether they're antibody designs or CAR T cell designs for AML, we're used to hearing about this for ALL, but now something new for AML are also not only on the horizon but already here and we're anxiously awaiting some clinical trial data to see what these therapeutic modalities are going to offer for AML patients.